they just, they were just absolutely in awe. And all of us were really emotional about it, but the women in the workshops were just beside themselves with so much pride and so much happiness. And walking around with ribbon skirts, walking around with drums, walking around with their baskets, talking to strangers, just so proud of themselves. And it just, I, I would never have expected a mall and a career college to feel like a place of healing, but that's what happened over that weekend. Tansi, Nina Apita Tipiskau B. Sumisquail. My name is Pat Bruder, my spirit name is Half Moon, and I do an ancient art. It's called birch bark biting. This is one of our first art forms, and it was a way for us to record our stories and our ceremonies and also our beadwork patterns and it develops the spatial mode in your brain. And I was concerned about it becoming a lost art form. Like so many of our ceremonies, so many of our stories. Hi, my name is Frankie and I was the facilitator for the Ribbon Skirt Workshop. It's seeing how happy they are that they've been able to complete something and walk away with it. It's um, empowering. It's about loving who you are, loving your culture again. You know, it's about keeping your culture with you and letting it be known that you're proud of who you are. Hey, so my name is Kyrie Hill. I'm a Mohawk from Akwesasne. I feel like it's important to carry on the tradition so that we as Native people can feel feel connected to the earth and the environment and also to partake in a tradition that's been long-standing throughout our entire existence basically. Everything that we create is either like moose hide, deer hide, fish scales, porcupine quill work, tufting, birch bark, giving back and giving thanks uh, to Mother Earth. So anything that we have from down to our last little tiny scrap of moose hide that we can no longer use we go and give it back to Mother Earth with tobacco and give gratitude and thanks.